to Song 41 now. I really like that track. What do you reckon? Yeah, that... it's great. And what do you think of Song 41 as a band, though? Are you into that kind of thing, like the not, whole American? Nah, not really, no, nah. but I think they're all right. Do you think US rock is at a healthier state than British rock at the moment? Me, personally, I don't think it's ever been in a healthy state, to tell you the truth, but that's just my personal thinking. I mean, you know, but... And do you I'm, like... I don't even listen to it, to tell you the truth. There's no bands out there who, like, are kind of doing anything different or new that you're into from America? No, I don't think anyone's doing anything new. OK, now we saw you perform Songbird earlier on, I've got to say. It's wicked, yeah, I do love it. It's a wicked tune. And Q magazine um, called it a two-minute, two-chord glimmer of light. That's a nice... Yeah, it's very nice. Did they really? They did. Isn't that sweet? And what, what would your, be, your own personal comment be on that track? Oh, no, it was just quick and it's honest and it's there and if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. You know, Throw the receipt away. You want it to take you know, that back. It's just not complicated, you know what I mean? And it's just about you know, someone... You know, and that can't be too complicated, can it? Because I think that's the beauty of it. Like when I watch it, and especially the video as well, because it's short and it's just simple. Is that yeah. your intention when you first started thinking about it? What, writing the song? Yeah. No, I just started and it ended, and I thought, oh, that'll do. And, and Noel said on the radio that um, it's called Songbird because it's a song and it's about your bird. Yeah. Is that what it is well, about? I suppose that'd be right. <laughs> Genius. Right. So when you write a song, is it the lyrics or the music? Like, how do you start off, and what be your plan when you first start well, writing? I break all strings before I get any for, before I get to any words, and, that, and then I have to wait for about a month to get them really strong, and then I start again, and then that's it really. Just the music and the melody, and then words sort of come whenever. I find it hard with words because you know you got to say what you know you got to say. And because well, as you could just write a load of old nonsense, you know what I mean, but. There's no point, is there really? You've got to mean it. And like, you know when you say like you're writing the music and stuff and you get the music started first, yeah. would you kind of like know where the lyrics are going to go? Is that something that you just think, oh, I'm going to write about my bird today? Or yeah. No, you just start playing and then you sort of like start humming and and then, you know, and then you sit down and you go, that melody will do with that and then you sort of like kind of write a few words with it. That's the way I do it, but, you know, I'm mm. sure people just sort of like write the song straight away, you know, when they're on the toilet and then, and then whatever, you know what I mean? Now, we had um, Appleton on the show last week. What do you think of Nick and Nat's new stuff they're doing? I think they're great. Because I've got to say, I love their new track. I think it's yeah, really beautiful. That's no, good music. The album's mega. Yeah. Really good. Now, singles out is later, and um, Songbird's up against Justin Timberlake and Big Brothers. How do you reckon the viewers will put you in that category? Probably rubbish, to tell you the truth, because Justin Timberlake's God in it at the moment, but. I'm not my vid, I'm not bothered. If people like it, they like it, it's cool. Well, we've got singles out later, so don't miss that. Cheers a lot, lads. Now it's time to Simon. Yeah.